Team, this is an important mission. Unlike field day, where the weather was beautiful, we could wear flip-flops. This is going to be something completely different. Field day, we only had to worry about our southern border. But this weekend, we are going to be facing competition from all sides. They're going to be coming at us from everywhere, across all the bands. And they're going to be jamming things up. They're going to be rude. They're going to be in your face. They're going to be running with such power that we've never experienced before. Our mission is to overcome and succeed where few others have the nerve to tread. Are you with me, team? It's the weekend of CQ Worldwide Single Sideband 2025. You know what? I have been doing this for years. I've been making videos about this for years, but I don't see a whole lot of other people getting out there and doing it. And I got a question for you, why? This type of activity is a challenge. The weather is colder, potential rain it gives you the opportunity to get out, put your gear together, set it up, test it. And that's what I'm doing here today is I've got four different radios, four different interfaces. I have to try to remember how to use all of them and do it in an effective manner. At the end of the day, I'm not here about winning a contest. I'm out here setting up an effective communication station. Let me show you what I got. Okay, first things first, I have an Aetherwave antennas. 40 through 10 G5RV. I wanted an antenna with some frequency agility because the CQ Worldwide contest happens on all the major HF bands, save the WARC bands. Okay, while they may not have seemed very enthusiastic at the start of the video, I've got some all-stars here on my team that I'll introduce you to now. Way over on the far side, I've got my Yesu FT817. Next to that one is the ICOM 705, my SGC SG2020, and behind me here the Yesu FT710, which is going to be set at 20, sorry, 75 watts. And uh, just a note on that, the SGC puts out approximately 30 watts on 20 meters and 40 meters. The 705 is using the built-in battery pack which means it'll be putting out 5 watts, and I've got 5 watts coming from the FT817. Now, I am also in a temporary pop-up shelter here, the Gazelle Gazebo. This is my second time using it, and I will be producing a video in the near future talking about this as a shelter in greater detail. Okay, let's get on with it and see if I can make a few contacts. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Golf, 50 mile on five. Correction call sign, Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Tango, Whiskey, Mexico, 50 mile on five. QSL 5904. Bravo 9, Alpha. Taking a quick look at the power that I'm using and how I've got it set up for my station here. Uh, right now I've got plugged in a 30 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. You can pay attention to the brand name or not. I don't think it makes much difference. They don't know me. I don't know them, aside from the fact that uh, I gave them some money when I bought their product. I've got that battery going into uh, an Anderson Power Pole a distribution bank, uh, and uh, that, that line coming from the battery is fused. I believe I've got a 30 amp fuse in there and of course each of the radios that will plug in and use that and accessories will have their own fused power cord. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. QSL 5904. So I'm sitting out here today and it's cool, it's, it's damp, there, there's been a little bit of rain. One of the considerations for cool slash cold weather camping is protecting yourself from the wind, 
for sure layering up but it's also nice to have a heat source something to keep you a little bit warmer to take the edge off the bite of the cold damp air uh, and and this uh, the one I'm using right here mr. heater big buddy they don't know who I am I paid for this out of my own pocket this is doing a good job in here I use it a lot yesterday for example <clears throat> I used it on low power through the day and as the temperatures really started to drop through the night I cranked it up to high so to me this has been a solid investment and it makes a big difference in terms of your ability to, you know, to enjoy the experience rather than just endure it. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. QSL 5904. If you're watching this video and you haven't tried CQ Worldwide from the field yet, I just want to give you a couple of reasons why you might want to consider it. First of all, you know, it's not like POTA where you go out and do an activation, you have to submit a log and all the rest of it. You don't have to submit a log. You know, for, for me anyway, this is probably, from a contest perspective, more about me giving points to those who are really competing in the contest. I'm not competing, I am not submitting a log, so there's no work on my end after I leave the park here. Uh, the other thing is that it's a very simple contest. It's a very simple exchange. The numbers that you hear flying back and forth, for example, I've been giving the number 5904, which basically is, hey, I heard you, I copied your information, and then the 04 part is the CQ zone. And if you look up to a Google on CQ zones, you can see that the world is divided up into these zones, and each zone has a two-digit two number. I'm in Eastern North America. That's 04. So it is very simple, simple exchange, quick, and, and of course, you get the opportunity, potentially, to talk with some really exotic locales. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, 5904. QSL 5904. I really like the Yaesu FT710, and I, I've heard a couple of knocks on this radio, and I just want to take a quick moment to address them. First off is I hear a lot about averaging on the scope. I don't know what the big deal is myself, and, and I've also heard a knock about the 3D scope. I kind of like the 3D scope. It's pretty good, and uh, I don't mind it at all, but that's a personal preference thing. The next thing is that it's got an S meter, which is, of course, it's, it's all on an LCD screen, and so it's, you know, it's, it's drawn by bits and bytes, but it retains that old school S meter type of display, which I really love. You know, bar graphs are completely functional, but I just love the way Yesu has done that, that, uh, that analog style uh, on a digital display. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Uh, Tango Whiskey Mike, your call. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey Mike, 5908. QSL 5904. Okay, 04, thank you, QSL. If you take a look at this video, and you kind of like what I'm doing here, and want to give it a try for yourself, uh, just one strategy I would, I would tell you to bear in mind field stations typically are even at 100 watts or 75 as I'm running the 710 here <clears throat> excuse me are, are, are typically at a disadvantage because they're not running big stations at home with power and 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 that seems to be the standard for a lot of these stations that you're gonna hear out there which is fine because there's always a way there's always you're always gonna have an opportunity to make contacts but what I would suggest you do is take a look at the higher bands first 10 meters, 15 meters. If those bands are open, focus your energy there. And I say that because you've got a wide expanse of spectrum and, and you're gonna, your signal is going to be able to get through that bigger expanse. There's going to be some stations up there that are looking to make contacts and they're, you know, there's not necessarily as many people 
going back to them. So I would suggest start the higher bands, move your way down. As you get down to 20 and 40 meters, that is where the jumble is. That, that, that's where it's, it's just bedlam down there. And you can make contacts down there, you 100% can, but it's going to take a lot more digging on your part. Victor, Papa 2, Mike, Papa November. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Tango, Whiskey, Mike, number 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike, 598. QSL, 5904. I don't know how many portable radios you have. Hopefully you've got more than just the one. But you know what? Use them. Bring them. Remember them. When you're working through the settings on each one, it kind of builds that muscle memory. If you've got something sitting on a shelf that you haven't used for a while, hey, that's a wasted investment. Get it out into the field. Mix and match between them understand the basic usage of all of them that way you're prepared to use them when the time comes victor, Mexico, Mexico. victor echo three tango whiskey mike victor echo three tango whiskey mike victor echo three tango whiskey mike qsl 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 5904. Zero 04, thank you, good luck. Thank you, good luck. Peter, Yellow 5, Mexico, Mexico, contact. Lighting is a big part of what you, uh, of being able to help you, because certainly there, there's no reason to shut down the station when darkness comes. Something I've found which is really handy, and I, I couldn't even tell you the brand name of these, I don't think you'd have to look too hard. These are just battery powered light bulbs. And when you pull down on the string, uh, it turns the bulb on and off. Uh, that, it's wonderful because it means you don't need to have a lantern on the table that could add to the clutter, or just get in the way if you need to do other things. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Tango, Whiskey, Mike, your 5911. QSL 5904. QSL, thank you. Papa, radio 2 You know, another aspect of CQ Worldwide is that, unlike a POTA activation where, you know, you feel compelled to make as many contacts as physically possible, I mean, you can bring that kind of mindset into CQ Worldwide, but uh, you might get burned out pretty quickly, uh, especially given you know the competition in frequency and, and everybody going after the same station you are. What, what I find most enjoyable for me is that understanding, okay, I'm not competing here, but if I come across a station that is from a specific DX entity that I've never worked before, I can hang around, spend some time on that frequency, waiting until the din dies down, there's a little bit of a lull, and then I can go in there and make a contact with them, if propagation permits. The other side of that is that if you can't get through to that guy coming in from that location, move up and down the band a little bit. There might very well be somebody coming in from, from the same location that is begging for contacts, giving you a chance to, to make a contact with that country. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, Mike. Victor Echo 3, Tango, Whiskey, 5913. Correction to call sign, Tango, Whiskey, Mexico, QSL. QSL 5904. Okay, QSL 5913. Thank you, good luck. Good luck, Lima United One, Foster Charlie, Quebec. And that's it, my CQ Worldwide single sideband 2025 experience. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, got something out of it. Hey, did you make any great contacts this contest? Did you 
happen to get out into the field. Let, let me know about your CQ Worldwide experience, uh, or even if you're thinking of mounting one next year. I, I sure hope you are, because it seems like I'm a, a lone wolf when it comes to this sort of calling. Uh, takeaways for me, uh, you know, that Gazelle Gazebo worked very well as, as a shelter for this operation. Uh, half the time to set up as my regular tent, and uh, we had some rain and mostly dry. There was, uh, there was some water inside. Uh, I'm gonna put a tarp up next time uh, rain is expected, just toss over the top of it and that should take care of that. But combined with that Mr. Heater that I had, uh, it did a great job keeping the inside to a, a very nice temperature that, that wasn't really taxing on me. So there you have, oh by the way, did you happen to notice how low the noise floor was? Uh, you know, you get out camping and that's what you're gonna get. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 7-3 from Tracy, VE3TWM.